We're talking about godly life lessons. I have a question for you. Do you want to experience a meaningful and fulfilling life with true happiness? Well, then this life lesson is critical for that to be a reality. Let's learn this lesson. God knows best for us. Let's focus for a moment on the statement, God knows best. Why does God knows, know what is best for you and me? Well, the obvious reason is because He's all wise and He knows all things. But a little bit beyond that, let's consider also that God is the architect of our lives and of the whole of life. He's the designer. He's the specialist builder behind your and my life purpose. There's no one that knows better what is the best for our lives than God. You see, He has the blueprint for your life. And His desire is that you will live the best life possible and a quality life on top of that. You and I can be assured that God really knows exactly what is best for our lives. And lastly, because He's the only one who knows what the future holds. We may think something looks great, but only God knows if it's truly the best for us in the long run. But not only does He know what's best for you, but He also wants the best for you. It's not, is that not what, what every parent wants for a child? Only the very best. So I want to repeat, not only does God want the best for your life, but He knows the best. And knowing the best and wanting the best, two powerful, powerful things. And I, I, I think the reason behind this is, like a parent for a child, um, it's because He really loves you. It's so basic to Christianity. But you and I need to realize it afresh and anew today. God knows the best and He wants the best for you and me, because He really loves you. It's as simple as that. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 reflects God's intent beautifully. He says in that verse to His people Israel, I know the plans I have for you. And I think God still says that today to every one of His children. He goes on to say, and the plans that I have for you include peace and not evil. That's a best life. That's best intent. It goes on to say to give you a future and hope. I trust you will be fully convinced that God knows and wants the best for you today with all of your heart. But let's go one step further and consider this. What is required from us to live the best life that God has planned for us? I believe it starts with a choice of attitude. And it speaks about you and I having to learn to fully surrender to Him. We must learn to fully surrender to Him and His will for us. To experience God's best for you starts with total surrender to Him. After that, we need to learn to yield to Him daily. Standing back, that's what yielding means, and allowing Him to lead, and then for us to follow. As I've said in a previous video, even if you and I can do something, it's actually the best to surrender and yield to God, to say, God, I don't want to do anything without you. I choose to follow the example of Jesus in this respect. Jesus came as the Son of God. He was able to do miracles. He had all the power of God. But he said this in John 5. He said, I can do nothing of myself. And it's not because he couldn't, but he chose not to do something unless it was motivated and powered and, and in the will of God. Let's adopt that in our lives. Let's live with a total dependence on God. Like a little child is totally dependent on its parents. That's what God wants. That kind of surrender and yielding, that's the first step into actually getting God's best. 
deployed in our lives. You know, it means simply that we come with full understanding to the place where we can pray as Jesus prayed, Father, not my will, but your will be done. Some years ago, I've adopted this declaration as my own. I will to will the will of God. I will to will the will of God. And with that prayer constantly in my life, I strive to make the will of God supreme in my life. And that what I will becomes secondary. And I must say, I don't always succeed in that. But although I fail at times, I strive to live by it. And I suggest you adopt the same. From this place of yielding and surrender and putting God's will up as our, our final aim, God appoints and elevates us to the position that the Bible calls co-workers and heirs with Jesus. And that is where we experience the best that He has destined for us. Many times I thought, oh, this is the best for my life. But as I've yielded to God and, and put my own ideas aside, and as time goes by, I look back and I think, man, God knows the best. And I would love for you to live in that. God knows the best. So yield and surrender to Him. I gladly remind you then to delight yourself in the Lord and in His will. And I can guarantee you that you will experience Him giving you the desires of your heart. I trust this will become your life, experiencing God's best. Before I pray, just to say that in the coming weeks we'll embark on a new series. I want to speak about ordinary heroes. And trust you will discover that there's a hero in you. Uh, looking forward to share with you along those lines. Let's pray. Lord, thank you that you know the best for our lives and you want the best for us. Today, again, it's our choice to say, Lord, we put your will up as our supreme aim in life. We surrender to your leadership, your lordship and your will. Lead us in your will and let us live the best life as you have designed for us. Amen.